Hello, you guys. It is very late at night. This is super weird. I like never start vlogs late at night, so this is throwing me off. But there's a reason why we are vlogging at night, and that is because we are gonna go over to the shop to show you guys something very cool, and we did not want to bother everyone while they were working. So we figured we would go after hours, so we're not over there bothering anybody. We just got back from dinner. We had an amazing seafood dinner. I am so very full. So we have a lot of leftovers because there was a lot of food. So we had mushrooms, some swordfish, asparagus, and then Mike always brings back a little bit of steak for the girls. He always leaves a little bit so he can bring it home so they have a little treat. And pig nose, don't you? Are you so excited for your steak? Want some steak? Mmm, is that so good? Sit. Good girl. Is that yummy yummy? Definitely very full, but definitely an amazing dinner. So we just got changed into some comfier clothes and I guess we are going to load up the girls, take them over to the shop because yes, they are gonna be coming. I don't even think I'm showing my face, <laughs> but we're gonna be taking them over to the shop because they love to go over there. They love to explore and run around. It's like their favorite thing. They get so excited and they have so much fun. They go crazy over there, don't you girls? So we'll load them up and I guess we'll see you guys over at the shop. to the shop it is so bright in here it doesn't even feel like nighttime it's this bright, is actually. so insane the girls are already having such a good time running around piglets over there inspecting things now the reason why we came over here is to show you guys something really awesome that bouge rv sent us but i wanted to give you guys a little bit of a background story because this awesome thing in this box that we're about to open up and show you guys we were going to use it on a very very special trip so we were supposed to go to colorado back in april with matt and amanda we were so excited to go because mike and i we've fallen in love with colorado and we have been there in the summer and the fall but we've never been there in like the winter spring time so we planned this big trip and we were looking at the weather, it said it was gonna be mid 50 degrees, and we just figured we would bundle up on our hikes, and that's totally fine, no big deal. No snow, like we didn't hear anything about snow. So it was about two days before our trip, and Matt called and he said, Well, Beaver was trying to rent a Jeep. We can't go on so the trip. <laughs> he rents a Jeep, and he's like, uh, I guess the guy on Turo, I think he was renting the Jeep, and the guy was like, just so you know, like all the roads are closed, like all the, and we don't really, do the winter activities. Like we're not into like snowboarding or skiing or anything. We would like once, but it's not, we're much more into like the summer activities. So I was like, I don't know. I didn't, I haven't heard of this. So I looked it up and apparently, and I guess this was just the ignorance of we don't know, we didn't know that much about Colorado, but we definitely want to make it a yearly thing because we love it. But come to find out, Colorado isn't like spring until apparently late May. Like the trails don't open until like Imogene Pass, Black River, all that doesn't open Crazy. until late May. Um, so had we gone, thank God actually that he tried to rent the Jeep and got, didn't yeah. get turned down, but the guy was like, hey, you know, just so you know, you can't really use this Jeep at all. Thank God, because just by chance, we would have flown out there and <laughs> apparently there was still like six feet of snow on the ground. It would have been, been miserable. Crazy. But the crappy thing is we were so excited we were to excited. take this to Colorado with us and try it out for you guys because this is the perfect product for Colorado. So we were just really Bouge excited RV, about it. And it's packed really nicely, as you can see. We wanted to unbox it on video for them. Uh, they were nice enough to send it out, but you can see it comes nicely packaged oh, so nice. and uh, we'll open it up here. Now this is the 30 quart and what it is, did we say, we didn't really say what it was. No, uh, not really. This is a portable refrigerator, which is really awesome. Now, luckily as fate would have it, we're doing the Overland Power Wagon build. So this is perfect so for this anyway. So it, you know, it really worked out in the end, but this is pretty cool. And there's two different ways you can power it. So you can power it with a normal plug and you can use the plug like in your truck or car or whatever. You can use a power outlet, um, you can use DC or AC. But the really cool thing is this, you can use the portable power bank actually. So you can run the fridge off of, and you can see the different connections here for well, I'll get to this in a second. So you can run the fridge off of a battery pack, making it truly portable. Now, most trucks these days have a power outlet anyway, so you can use it. But if you're camping, um, 
you know, you don't want to use the truck, you don't want to have the truck running, whatever, you can use the power bank, or if you're out somewhere you don't have a vehicle and a, and a power source, you can use this. And the really cool part is it has the plugs here for solar panels. So you can solar panel charge your battery and use your fridge. Truly standalone, like completely by itself. You could be using your fridge powered by solar panels. Pretty freaking cool. So those are the two ways you can power it. And uh, let me get it set up here. And it's really nice. It's got these little tie downs here. You can see, so you can tie it down. You can secure it in the bed. Pretty strong there. It's got handles. It's got your LED lights. I believe it's got yeah light on the inside. But I'll show you that when I fire it up. So Mike's gonna set it up really quick. Um, but I did just want to add, like, ice is such a pain in the butt. So this is really, really cool because you always have to go and buy ice over and over and over. I grew up camping, and my dad was constantly running into town to go get ice because it melts so fast. So we were really super hype about this. This is freaking awesome. So their battery here, and it shows, oh, it's 28. I thought I was I was like oh 82 percent so it's 28 charged out of the box but we haven't charged it yet but hey, that's pretty good it's really easy how it plugs in this is really cool and then it should be I mean you just what does it say on off press one time to hold to uh, turn on super easy directions there you go. it's just very user friendly it's got a really nice screen here too so I think what we'll do is maybe we'll have them try to get them to send us another one oh you can hear it on that is sick that's so it's just fully cool. it's not plugged into anything except for the battery right now. Which is absolutely crazy. That's insane. And uh, I think what we'll do is we'll include this with our Overland Power Wagon built. So you'll get this. And like I said, it worked out perfectly. You'll get this. But that is sick. And it shows you the temp right on the screen there. I don't know if the camera will pick that up. But yeah. you can control your temperature. It's at 32 degrees right now. This is absolutely awesome. You can switch between Fahrenheit and Celsius. It shows you all like your different temperatures for meat and everything. There's a the little LED light. This is absolutely sick. Very cool. Let's give it a few moments, see how cool it gets. And we've got some cans here to test it out. Like I said too, it comes with all the different connections. You can go right into a wall outlet, outlet in your truck or car, uh, or the cigarette port, cigarette lighter, um, or the battery pack. So a lot of different ways to power it and charge it, a lot of different ways to use it. And you can also use these with the solar panels that they sell too. So if you really want to go full off the grid, you don't want to rely on anything, even though, again, trucks usually have a power outlet, but just in case, you can get the, <laughs> you can get the solar panels too, which would be really sweet. And uh, I got this sucker turned on. We'll give it a few moments here. Got our drinks Oh, it is in getting there. cooler. You can feel it's it already. So it's getting cool. cooler. This is cool. It's uh, starting to condensate right there. You see it? I can't right believe that this right is like a real fridge. Yeah. It's, only, it's been on for like two minutes. Like this. You could go camping in a tent and that's it. And then you have a fridge. I'll tell you what, you open that sucker up. If it's real hot, maybe you get a little AC. Yeah. yeah. How's it going, oatmeal? Is it going good? So it's actually going really good. We, what would you say, about 15 minutes? Yeah, I'd say. Maybe not even quite. Yeah, like 10. 27 maybe. degrees in here now. Oh my God. Like it's, and <laughs> you saw it was 74 <laughs> earlier. Absolutely freezing in here. I feel like you could definitely actually freeze stuff, which is really cool. These are ice cold. You can even probably see on the camera. I'm sure they can see like the ice forming. Condensation right there. So it's freezing, and this could keep you on the road, most importantly, indefinitely, actually. As long as you have fuel in the truck, and you can charge the battery pack, or you have the solar panels, which you could literally live off the grid and have a refrigerator full time. Yeah, they sent us this, but I would tell you if we weren't impressed, we're extremely impressed. It cooled down really fast. It went from 74 to 26 degrees in about 10, 15 minutes. And the other cool thing is, I forgot to show you, it, it does have a compartment here that you can put your battery pack in, and your cord in, and then you can even feed it through here, right? It's got a nice little hole in the back, so that you can make it really nice. Super organized. And yeah, you don't have to worry about packing your cords also. It'll all go in there, and you know, you can make it really nice and fit. But let's do this, all right? Let's pick this up, and let's install it in our power wagon. Oh my God, the pig's dead. It was a dead pig, dang it. She was laying down like <laughs> yeah, a dead honey. pig. <laughs> so we've got the fold flat floor already set up, and basically, that's it. That's ready to go, ready to hit the road. So you could go on a road trip, have that sucker plugged in the whole time. Freezing cold drinks whenever you get there. Mode. Yeah, freezing cold drinks the entire trip when you're there camping. And you can get a special deal using our discount code that will be on the screen. Using that link, it'll be on the screen for you if you want to get this for yourself. But very impressive product, very cool, highly recommended. Again, check out the link down below. And you can get one for yourself. We're really hype about this. I actually want to go on like a day trip tomorrow and just have some drinks because they're just, they're so cold. That'll it's really, really awesome. If we give this one to you guys, which I guess we will, because I already said it, <laughs> we got to get another one because I definitely want this. And we didn't even talk about uh, the fact yeah, this is that a big we deal. might be doing 
in 2024 after the wedding, so this year is kind of crazy, like, like lots of wedding stuff and all that, starting a new company. But in 2024, we might do a little road trip to see all 50 states. Maybe. With the girls and might get an RV and we're gonna need it for that. So we'll see on that with the family channel and all, but really cool idea. What's that wheel barking at? Get him, Ernie. <laughs> Well, yeah, we'll see though. But anyway, thank you to Bouge RV. Appreciate sending us that product. It's really awesome. We do recommend it and we can't wait to actually take it out on the road somewhere and use it because it's impressive. I wish you guys could have seen me behind the camera because I was smiling so hardcore whenever Mike was talking about our little plan of seeing the 50 states maybe and an RV. And we're just really excited about that because we can take our girls with us. We love to take our girls traveling obviously like when we go on a cruise we get really sad and we're super excited to test out that fridge because Mike and I we love a good drink I like I really genuinely love this <laughs> I, can't I can't wait to use it myself well I guess we'll have to get another one <laughs> yeah he promised to give it to one of you guys whoever wins that awesome truck but um and sorry it's a little cluttered in here we've been moving stuff around but um we love a drink you know Mike likes to have his energy drinks cold water like we love our soda so super excited to use that but I do want to show you guys a little bit of a sneak peek I've been showing you guys sneak peeks here and there for the wedding and this one is pretty dang cool and it's here at the shop because a lot of you guys probably don't know this we don't have a basement at home so we literally just have like our one floor and then that's it and we don't use the attic because it's really hard to get to because the access is above the cars and there's like no drop down ladder. You have to it's carry in a ladder and all this stuff. And Mike says if you put stuff up there, it becomes clutter. So we don't use the attic. So all we have is like our bedrooms and little closets and stuff. So this would not fit in our house, but we are storing it here at the shop. Now it looks like nothing right now, except for that part. That part's really cool. But this is going to be a special wall at our wedding cocktail area for our reception for people to take pictures in front of. Now it does not look like much right now. And we have something special covered up behind these two towels. I'm not gonna give that secret away, but it is an LED sign like that one, but I'm not going to tell you guys what it says because you're gonna have to wait for like Instagram pictures and stuff. I'm gonna keep that a secret. Um, this part is gonna stay white. And then this whole top part that is just like plain is gonna be covered by something. I'm also not gonna tell you guys what it's covered by because that's also gonna say a secret. But just so you know, this part here is gonna be covered by something cool. There's an LED sign, which you can see a little sneak peek of it there. And then this white part is gonna be exposed. So it's like a photo backdrop for people to take pictures in front of. And we're really excited about it, aren't we, Pig? Yeah. We made it home and we had to get a little bit of dessert. Cinnabons. Okay, well that's not dessert. Mike might've gotten a little snack I'm too. <laughs> Luckily, he doesn't like pickles, so I get to eat them. Works out in the relationship. Um, yeah, <laughs> so I have my Cinnabon, my cashew Cinnabon, and then I have been loving the strawberries and cream pies, but I guess they were out. So we got apple pie tonight and see how that is. So I'm gonna close off the vlog here because I'm getting really sleepy and I'm gonna ha go have this little snack and then probably go to bed. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I am so excited about talking about our trips of 2024. It's just like really exciting, but I can't believe it's gonna be 2024. It's, it's really scary, but I'm, I'm very, very excited for this new thing of us. Like I feel like we normally just go cruising or we'll go to the beach and then that's kind of like it. So this is a very, very big new step. And I'm kind of excited to like go shopping around for RVs and stuff. I don't know, this is like so not us, <laughs> but we're super excited. And it's gonna be an awesome way to see things and experience things and have our girls with us. So I feel like it's gonna be a really fun first year of marriage, just experiencing all these cool different places and yeah we're just really excited so hope you guys enjoyed this video can't wait to film more of rv stuff that's crazy to say but really excited about it so we'll see you guys in the next upload bye guys